and welcome to No Such Thing as a Bad Movie Podcast. I'm April Edmanski, and I'm here today with... Oh, Justin the Glue. Wait, oh. it's not Halloween, Justin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was not a wolf's howl. That was a... That was... Oh, <laughs> woof, woof, woof. Bow wow. As a dog. Bow wow sound. wow. Chicka okay. wow chicka <laughs> way. Bow wow wow wow. Oh god. Uh, and Colin Cunningham. And uh, we are No Such Thing as a Bad Movie. And today it's uh, episode two of Animal Month. Yeah. <laughs> Great. This is uh, this is Justin's pick. Yes. Uh, what are we watching today? Or what are we talking about today, Justin? <laughs> Does Colin not know? Has he already blasted it from his memory <laughs> no, to try I'm... to keep like sane? <laughs> <laughs> yeah so today we watched uh it's a it's like a whole genre of films these like ch- child dog films i mean uh, dog films for kids talking animal movies yeah now this karate dog film it says tv movie but i have a memory of it like having theatrical ads am i hallucinating I, I have no idea. I I've, never saw those, but I mean, who knows? I never heard of this until like a few years ago, I think. Oh, I've heard of it because pe- I've seen people post the terrible I've just seen the CG clip. Yeah, clip. Yeah, yeah. I've seen the, the climax of the end of the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, oh otherwise, yeah, I've never heard of this movie, but yeah, it just, I, I sort of blanked all those types of movies out of my mm. brain. So you like, never saw like Air Bud? The Talking Animals? No, I've never. I saw and, a little bit when I was a kid. Yeah, because Air Bud was a Canadian film, so me and April were probably oh, forced to watch yeah. it as a kid. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've seen one of the Air Buds. I think a bunch of them the were filmed one. in like Vancouver or something like that. I feel like they all are. Like Spy Mate. I remember my friend was the VFX supervisor in one of those Spy Mate, oh, yeah, spy spy mate? mate that's, movies. That's the chimpanzee one, right? Yeah, yeah. He told me oh, some no, stories from behind the Oh no, it's going to be a attack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what happened. Oh no. Uh, no, oh, not no. really. But, yeah, just, uh, yeah, horrible stories from, you know. Wait, so this, Spy this Mate's movie. the one where he's a spy, and yeah. then there's Most Vertical yeah. Primate, where MVP. he does snowboarding. Yeah, and maybe, then, it, maybe it was that one. I can't no, remember. There's Most Valuable Primate, which that's I thought That's when he plays was, hockey. Yeah, yeah, hockey. Yeah, that's the one I know. <laughs> that's the one I would see at the blockbuster. No one has made my UFC movie yet ultimate fighting canine but one day <laughs> you could also do ultimate fighting chimp well you know uh what about amores peros wasn't that like a <laughs> oh yeah the dog fighting movie <laughs> that was like ultimate fighting wasn't wait it? there was one it was wrestlemania and it's about like a russell dog at <laughs> wrestlemania so <laughs> yeah i've heard of that <laughs> these titles oh, are, I, I feel like they get by on their titles alone and this one's just the karate dog the, the karate dog it's not even creative and that's a little bit of false advertising too because uh, if you come yeah. in wanting for karate dog you're not gonna get much of it no it should be called sarcastic uh dog (laughs) chevy chase on the doors of death dog (laughs) yeah uncharismatic dog (laughs) cgi dog uh yeah thankfully i I thank my lucky stars that in my cgi career i've never had to work on a talking animal movie and i i have never ever ever wanted to do you know friends who like their job was spending months like moving the lips of dogs oh my god (laughs) many 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 yeah i i I think I left uh, Core right when they were starting to work on like the Doctor Doolittle and the oh probably the, the DTV films I bet the Nutty Professor two I think okay. or something tons of talking animals and I'm just like oh god I've, but they're talking oh. animals in the Nutty Professor two <gasps> that's the whole point of the Nutty Professor oh oh wait, wait. Doctor Doolittle Doctor Doolittle you mean Doctor Doolittle yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 Call is like those clumps they're animals <laughs> <laughs> maybe they well, had there was there was some CGI one. hamsters I think in in the second one but Doctor Doolittle definitely and then the company that I worked at after after that, uh, Soho had worked on Bailey's Billions. It was like a movie about a dog that won <laughs> won the lottery or something. Wait, how can a dog legally win the lottery? <laughs> I don't know. Dean Cain was in it. So. Oh, uh, no. Of course. <laughs> and they still, they refused to take that stuff off their demo reel. Like, right to the, even though they had worked on, like, Marvel movies by that point, Jesus. they still kept showing these, like, Bailey's stupid billions. talking dog shots. And I kept telling them, like, take them off. And the weird thing is, is, like, they're still making these, like, like remember, like, Nine Lives? That was a theatrical that movie. That was 10 years ago, though. Was it I 10 years ago? I can't believe that I was I feel a like that was, like... Yeah, Five that's the one ago. where Kevin Spacey, <laughs> yeah. I think, dies and gets reincarnated as a cat. Yeah. As a cat and yeah. it was directed by Barry Sonnenfeld. That's yeah. insane to me. Which is insane. And it looks like it was shot on like a like an but iPhone like, or something. Why would that be a wide release movie? <laughs> I no idea. With the power of Barry Sonnenfeld and Jennifer Kevin Garner, Spacey. Robbie oh. Amell, the guy from Arrow. <laughs> oh, no. 
<laughs> I don't know who that is. Um, but yeah, so the 90s were really more of the heyday of these type of movies. The, you know, yeah. non-theatrical released home video. There's a million dog movies. There was like cats and dogs. Yeah. Um, I think Ooh. that made it to the theater. Almost worked on the second one. Oh, cats and dogs, mm. uh, the revenge Two. of pussy galore. <laughs> or kitty galore. Kitty, kitty galore, yeah. Yeah. I almost worked on that one. Thankfully, our work got uh, pulled and we didn't work on it. So, Well, was, you know, that whew. one got into theaters because I think it had a bunch of celebrity voices. Yeah. But this movie has some celebrity voices. <laughs> Quote, unquote. It has celebrity voice and Be- John Voight. Beloved actor Chevy Chase. Uh, well, yeah. So this movie is a long time um, coming return to the work of the Paul brothers. Oh, yes. God. How many of them are there? Well, there's They've two. There's Stephen Paul and Stuart Paul. Okay. And if people don't remember, Stuart Paul was the star, director, writer of the uh, No Such Thing as a Bad Movie classic, Deadly Lessons. <laughs> the, le- the Was it The Legend of Simon Conjurer? Simon Conjurer? Yes. Yeah, which you got to check out if you haven't. Also starring uh, John Voight. Yep. Uh, yeah. I think John Voight is pals with them, which mm-hmm. uh, indicates that they are not good people. <laughs> no, well, then they did the Baby Geniuses movies, which also had John Voight, or John Voight was in the second well, one. Well, the director least. of this movie, Bob Clark, uh, who directed Porky's Christmas Story, Baby Geniuses. Yeah, famous uh, Canadian. You, make it, you made it sound like Porky's <laughs> Christmas Story, and I was like, is there another Porky? <laughs> A Porky's Christmas Story. Yeah, it was the Christmas classic. A very oh. Porky Christmas. Not a, a Canadian, Porky's April. He is not, not a Canadian. He is no. a Floridian, I believe, who uh, moved uh, to Canada to make movies. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. But uh, Stuart Paul's brother, Stephen Paul, wrote and produced this movie. He's the agent for Bob Clark and John Voight. Mm-hmm. And Gene Wilder, apparently. And Gene Wilder. I believe he owns like Echo Bridge now, which was like a DVD label or Ooh. big Blu-ray label that would like buy wholesale other companies' films. Oh my and god! And I also think they went out of business recently because all their stuff got. Unli- unlisted so oh, okay. I hope uh, you know Stephen Paul is doing okay actually you know what I don't care <laughs> <laughs> well they seem to do mostly kids movies and that's what made Deadly Lesson so weird because it had this adult content but it was shot and it had the tone of this movie <laughs> like the, yeah. the kind of cartoony sound effects and music and just like the crappy framing and green screen and if there's I even a scene so, on a roof I bet this movie costs like more than 10 million dollars oh yeah for sure with all the CGI yeah, yeah. I mean, all it the doesn't... CGI <laughs> hey you still gotta pay someone to do it even if it looks bad yeah it's true and I will say a lot of the mouths look okay. They like look I've fine. seen much worse For sure. mouths yeah. moving on animals. They always look bad though. Like yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, it just but looks disturbing. It, yeah, it's that dog's like dead aired stare and yeah. like his <laughs> mouth is all like moving and making the syllables. Yeah. Especially this dog who looks kind of he has a little bit of sad eyes. He has you know. like teddy bear, and then you know you give him the voice, uh, the super charismatic voice of Chevy <laughs> Chase. I think you're being sarcastic there, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> he has like no personality in this movie. He has like the most hey, flat line deliveries. We gotta find Chin's well, killer. <laughs> Chevy Chase definitely was like a crusty, right? He's like, hey, I'm Chevy Chase. Yeah. Oh, I'm the Karate Dog. Watch out. All right, I'm going to get out of here. And it's like, oh, well, Chevy, we didn't start yet. <laughs> bada boom, bada bing. Well, you notice, like, some of the audio quality is different. And it's like they took takes from, like, three different recordings and put it together in well, one I'm line sure meeting. it was a classic uh, Eric Roberts in A Talking Cat. <laughs> and they, like, recorded him in a bathroom or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Um, still got to see that. Who did I hear it from that, like, Chevy Chase was really, really drunk or stoned? That used to be on the IMDb trivia for this movie. Oh. Right, Justin? I don't no, I, I think I'm, it was I'm, like I did not keep track of the karate dog IMDb no, trivia. I swear, it was like floating around Twitter for a while. It was like Chevy Chase was apparently high on cocaine for all of this movie, or or drunk or something, um, or painkillers maybe. Yeah. I mean, painkillers I would believe with the performance. Um, but now, <laughs> now the only IMDb trivia is Bob Clark's last movie. Oh no, it's like, Bob did he Clark. Die? Yeah, he did. He had a car accident with his son, and he passed oh, away. Shit. Oh, jeez. I thought maybe okay. he just stopped working after this. Yeah, he said everything he had to say was the karate dog. <laughs> Going out on top. Yeah. Now, is it the karate dog or karate dog? I think I it's the karate dog. Because yeah, on it's... the DVD, it's just karate dog, which is confusing. Why oh. is it confusing? 
Because of all my years, I knew it as Karate Dog, and now it's The Karate Dog. It is. So on the DVD, it says Karate Dog. On IMDb, <laughs> it says The Karate Dog. Yeah. The Karate Dog. <laughs> There's only one. Yes, guys. This is The Karate <laughs> yeah, Dog. Yeah. Except no imitators. <laughs> yeah. So speaking of celebrities, um, Pat Morita is in this movie. Poor Pat Morita. Was this his <laughs> final film, too? Oh, like, oh God. Look it up. He's a, you know, he's, a legend. You know, he's, he looks pretty much the same. He's moving yeah. very slow in this movie, though, but... Well, it was a stunt know, double looks fantastic. It probably wasn't that long ago he did, like, Karate Kid, the next Karate Kid or something like that. No, he did not do another Karate Kid movie after Karate Dog, but this was <laughs> no. not his last movie. He had a lot more in the tank after this. He mm. did, like, voice acting and... Wait, so uh, what year is this? 2005? 2005. So isn't isn't this that. one of those ones that sits on the, that sat on the shelf for a long time? I feel it. it yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised because it feels like it's from like, like ninety eight, two thousand, or something <laughs> like that. Yeah, it certainly looks like it's from two thousand. Mm. I mean, again, it looks pretty slick. It does open with like very sad music <laughs> over yeah. like the camera panning over a bunch of like scientific stuff. You see the credit of all the great people who are going to appear in this film: Pat Morita, John <laughs> Voight, Simon Rex, Dirty Simon Dirt Rex. Nasty himself. That's oh, right. I had never heard of this guy. I don't know him from anything. You've so. never seen Scary Movie. Uh, uh, yeah, but I don't he's in one of the him. scary movies. I can't he's remember. in Scary Movie 3. He does the 8 Mile parody. Oh, oh, you know what? I did see that. Okay, I don't, yeah. I, I, Wait, is that the one with the... God, they go to Haunted House? <laughs> no, that that's the, Scary Movie that's 2. Okay, well, maybe scary I didn't movie see 3. Scary Movie 3 is when David Zucker came back, and it's a ring parody for most of the movie. Oh, uh, okay, okay. I think okay. I saw that one. What was the one with know. the Million Dollar Baby parody? I think that's was four. Four? Okay. So <laughs> I, I saw think, four I think theaters. I only saw four. Yeah. Okay. Simon Rex became a... Co- uh, I think he's in three and four. So he hmm. also was in the other film that was not scary movie the spoof film like i'll shriek if you know what i did last Saturday oh, okay. the 13th, which oh is the God. superior scary movie in my opinion yeah out of town really. well i mean yes. I, like let's see as we're talking about simon rex uh i'm gonna take this now as he is my favorite part of this movie what? um because his performance is so bad and uh for those What's going don't on, know. Chocho? Oh. Chocho being the hey, name Chocho. of the dog. Well, well, so he just recently starred in a Sean Baker movie called Red Rocket. And if you haven't seen it, basically it's about a scumbag who went to Hollywood and didn't make it and did pornography and came back to his hometown in Texas and is basically taking advantage of everybody he knows. And, like, he Can you is imagine? This character. Yeah, like, that, that, like... <laughs> Like, the Red him. Rocket character acted in the Karate Dog. That, that's and then, why like, it's funny. <laughs> yeah. That's why it's funny to me because I'm like, ima- cause I just saw that movie like a few okay. weeks ago. So like, I'm just like imagining that, like that, the character, although that's why <laughs> see, Sean Baker likes to cast real life people yeah, yeah. Uh, and people who are just basically, they don't have to stretch themselves too far acting. It's very naturalistic. So mm-hmm. it's less like, this is the this is the terrible movie he made in Hollywood, and also Simon <laughs> Rex did do pornography as well. So did he? Really? Yes. Did he do pornography? I think he, he just did, did like bit. photos or something. Well, I don't know. Like, like it, it, I don't know. I, I'm just just getting going off the IMDb here, but mm-hmm. it just said like he he did a bit of porn at the beginning of his career. You know when he, he was an MTV Hollywood. VJ as well. Yeah, I thought God, there was some have... kind of like music connection there. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, I have no context for him as a person, so this is like. Like you can My tell first like he's exposure. like trying in this, but he's, but he's just so not very bad. good. He's yeah, so bad. he just can't really. And act I just very like well. he looks like uh, to me looks like a mix of like Andy Samberg and Jimmy Fallon. Like he just looks like <laughs> he does. He looks like a bunch of people like mixed yes, together. Yes, I said Jamie Kennedy, but maybe that's just because uh, he was one of those guys at this time. Okay, you know, like again, like, like I have no baggage actor. for him like coming into this, yeah. so it's just like I, you know, he's he's a blank slate to me. You got to watch a, Scary Movie Three and Red Rocket. I think okay. those are the only two Simon. <laughs> Rex films I would recommend. <laughs> oh wait, he has a very brief part in Bodied as well because he plays ah, like a. I still haven't seen that. I haven't seen uh, that either. Very good. But let's get into the movie after <laughs> this opening of uh, the 
science lab, Pat Morita steals the secrets of the ooze. Yeah, he, like it's he can't crack giant. the code, so then he just sort of karate chops the uh, the, the little code panel on the door. It, it's <laughs> like a prop from like a Halloween store, <laughs> yeah. like the giant cylinder test tube with the radioactive. Yeah, it's like ecto cooler. Yeah, <laughs> it's just pretty funny. And he steals this green goo, which you think will have a better payoff, but like the payoff is just kind of horrifying. What it actually does, to yeah. the only person, actually the the few beings that consume this green goo does not turn anyone into any ninja turtles then he goes back to his home where his dog chocho is who in this opening sequence was clearly not meant to have any dialogue yeah. but at the last second they're like let's dub in some uh, witty one-liners from yeah, he's Jimmy trying to, Chase. He's, he's trying to read something and he, he's like oh chocho get me my my glasses or something and then you just hear like from off screen like i'll get him it's yeah. very it's All very right confusing because you never see the dog's face so it's never you don't sort of put two and two together that you know oh, the wait, dog is you, supposed to be speaking did you guys notice when pat marita's going home and there's a wide shot of the street there's a yes. hundred street screaming cats on the soundtrack yes it's like <laughs> yes uh the, the the classic cat sound effect the way there's he's like a hundred in the shot there's yeah. so many yeah but it's like the way he's walking down the alleyway it's like the shot from gremlins or something with the, yep. with the old guy country. yeah um, yeah, so then, you know, he, he, what does he get? A, like a letter from his brother, uh, and there's a photograph of him. Him and, and a you, young John Voight, apparently. Yeah, you realize later it's very young John Voight, but yeah, he does look like Dave Foley from uh, Kids it, in the Hall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really bad Photoshop, if, if, if that's what it is. I don't even know. And there, a bunch of goons burst in wearing like little white masks and they fight Pat Morita's stunt double. And that's fun. Pat Morita's stunt double throwing these guys into. Yeah, some uh, pretty good fighting here, actually. Shells. Like There's a big open fire, and I'm like, I hope someone gets thrown into that. <laughs> the guy's butt lights on fire. Okay, before I forget, yes. big complaint about this movie the dog never bites anybody in the balls. Very yeah, disappointing. Yeah, crotch shots. You think yeah. for like a kid's movie, he'd be biting balls all over the place. <laughs> all over the place. <laughs> Just you be... think Stephen Paul is like, I'm much classier yeah. than that. <laughs> yeah, what kind of movie do you think this is? <laughs> well, that's the thing. It's like the, the movie kind of never goes into, it never feels like a real goofy kid's movie. Like, you know, we just watched Furry Vengeance. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, that goes It feels goes very there. serious at times. Yeah, it does. It, almost... it does. But at the same time, like in this scene, like <laughs> the dog catcher comes in and he falls and someone trips and it goes whoop. Like it does a, a slide whistle sound. <laughs> Wait, yeah, that comes in the, in. It, I think you're going a little too far ahead yeah. because yes, first the karate Sorry. dog Chocho shows up and oh he turns God. into CGI. This animal, the CGI and animal. I was like, ah, oh, it takes me back to the opening of Kung Pao. Oh, it even has God. the same music, like da 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 da. Yeah, it's like the fake Matrix music. Yeah, yeah. This whole soundtrack is just sound alikes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you can like they pinpoint them. Okay, that's supposed oh, to be the Matrix. I feel song. bad because one of the co-composers is Canadian legend Paul Zaza, doing the music for this movie. The what guy did he... who did like, I think he did Black Christmas. He did a lot of Bob Clark movies. Oh no shit! Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So well, Bob Clark probably good. brought him in, but he was credited with like someone else. So maybe he did like the original tracks, and then right. somebody else came and redid it for him. Let's give Paul Zaza the mercy of that happening to him <laughs> okay, for this okay. movie. Yeah. Let's, well, this this CGI dog doing karate, uh, you know, it's... Uh, Is it the worst CGI you've ever seen? No, no, no. No, no, it's no. It's just, when you're trying to make a dog move like a human, it's, yeah. it's just not, It just looks you know, wrong. It just looks wrong. The proportions are... are what's, com- what's wrong is the wrists. Yeah. I, what's they, wrong is all of it. Like, you just yeah. look at it and you're like, Ugh. The joints are different. Legs move in ways that they're not supposed to. It's yeah, just very it's a weird. nightmare. And it is very complicated stuff. They're trying to get yeah. this dog to do on top of that. Like, oh, God. I do just... wish he was like a hairless dog, like a hooch. Because then it'd be even <laughs> more horrifying to see him like walk around on two legs. Yeah. And you knew like the CGI would look like he's just like skin and bone when he's doing <laughs> stuff. I think they missed an opportunity to have like, you know the shot of like the the henchman's face and just puppet arms just punching him like they did in first. Is there Vengeance. not one a shot of that in this movie of someone being slapped yes. by like puppet arms? Not slapped. There is, okay. but I have a feeling like there are some puppet arm shots in this movie, but there are also some CGI arms and uh, uh. dog heads coming in from off screen, and they look really mm. horrible. Or they're like blue screened in or something. It looks really weird. <laughs> mm-hmm. Why did this movie though? It did make me want to watch Marmaduke because. <laughs> 
isn't William H. Macy in that movie? And like Marmaduke like dances to like, what I like about you, dude. Wait, do, is do, William do. H. Macy the voice of Marmaduke? No, he's just an actor in oh, Marmaduke no. the movie. I want to say, I thought Owen Wilson was in Marmaduke. He is in Marmaduke. Okay. Oh, like oh, a, it's in there too. Okay. Uh, at least when you're the voice, people aren't looking at your face. They can't see the shame, right? You can kind of hide behind <laughs> the it. The tears streaming down your cheek. Well, I, I remember want to know who did the voice of Marmaduke. The well, one's a Marmaduke <laughs> reboot that came out this year. Oh, God. Well, the one funny story from Bailey's Billions, that talking mm-hmm. dog straight to video movie, uh, was my my buddy was the effects supervisor on set, and then he and Dean Kane were kind of having a smoke mm-hmm. during a break. And Dean Kane said something like, "At least your name's just in the credits." It's like my fucking <laughs> face is on the cover of this thing. <laughs> Dean Kane like, was like, "I'm thinking of pivoting to right wing to help my career." <laughs> he's taken so many bad roles. Like, if you don't like it, well, dude, I guess he man. just he just needs money, right? Yeah. So he'll just or, he'll do anything. Correction: William H Macy is not in Marmaduke, to my knowledge. Okay. So I will do more research to figure out which movie he's in. Owen Wilson does voice the dog. His oh, owner. God. Lee Pace. Poor Lee oh, Pace. No, oh, not no, not Lee Pace. Oh. And of course, Judy Greer, probably in the uh, yeah. girlfriend role. Uh, yeah, doomed for that forever. Yeah. Oh, Judy. When does she get a starring movie? She literally had one part of those uh, Blumhouse horror films that were like TV movies, and it was about oh. like a dog. I didn't see it. Oh, so. <laughs> no. <laughs> Always playing second fiddle to somebody. You yeah. know what? Maybe I'm just thinking William H. Macy is an old dog. So maybe I'm getting my dog chronology confused. <laughs> Wait, do oh, you no, think- he's in Wild Hall. <laughs> God, I can't keep track of this. You're way off. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm um, okay. Uh, Mr. Miyagi uh, passes away, unfortunately. He gets killed. First of all, uh, Chevy Chase as Chocho. The dog calls nine one one. Yep. <laughs> Uh, Airbud does that as well. I'm sure me <laughs> no. and April remember where he picks up a pencil and he touches the keys. Oh, phew. yeah. Okay. Uh, I was right. William H. Macy is in Marmaduke. He was just at the bottom of the credit. Okay. okay. You're like, not going crazy. It's like, put my name uncredited. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. At the bottom. <laughs> no, William uncred- H. Uncredited. Macy as himself. <laughs> well, we don't see Chevy Chase's dog call 911. We see, like, the, you know, the, the, the. Yeah. So how did he. Whatever. We, we don't know. But it's like, hello, emergency. And he's like, he's dying. My friend is dying. <laughs> who's dying? <laughs> it's like, who's dying? Can you give me. What's your name, sir? He doesn't say Chocho. And that's it. Yeah. That's all we get. And then the cops come. But, like,. Uh, so in this world, animals can talk. They just don't. They choose not to. Yeah, because they think Pat unless Mar- they really want Pat to. Marita says to the Chevy Chase, he's like, remember, don't talk. Uh, only speak to people that seek the truth. Yes. Uh, Pat Marita also goes, remember, protect the dogs. <laughs> yeah, just the dogs. The dogs in general. And also... Any dog could could learn karate in this universe if they're just trained by a master. I guess. Just like any of us, April, we could all be karate masters That's if true. we wanted to. And yeah. they could also do things like drive cars, play instruments. Whoa, whoa, spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're ruining the big reveal. Or maybe reveal. it's just Chocho that can do those things. I don't know. Chocho seems to know about everything for like a yeah, dog. Yeah, well, it's like most animals in these movies. Like, they're very well versed in pop culture. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he like gets into Simon Rex's car and he's like, oh, it's a 69 Cooper. Yeah. With like, you know, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it's like, how did you know this? Yeah. Well, okay, so Simon Rex arrives at the crime scene in this movie and he starts quipping, you know, ADR lines <laughs> right from the get go. <laughs> well, yeah. they all the- stuff like, ooh, a real corpse. Yeah, they're all oh making God. fun of him. He's like the new techie guy and they call him the laptop cop. I miss that. He's, That's he's the kind of funny. Guy. Yeah, it's when he's walking in, they're all kind of like heckling him, like, ah, it's a laptop guy. It's your first And he scene. opens up his laptop, and for some reason, it's a super smart AI. Doesn't really matter in this movie, but, <laughs> yeah. but it's voiced voice by Lori, Lori Petty. Petty. <laughs> so we didn't notice this until the credits. I, I thought it was like Nancy Cartwright or something. It but, sounded uh, like Lorraine Bracco. That would have been A little bit, fun. yeah. Um, so yeah, it, it has a very human Lori Petty voice. Yeah. Like it's not her doing a robot voice. And its name is like Collar. It's like Collar. Criminal. Criminality Online Analytical Research. And Simon Rex is like, well, this is actually the most sophisticated computer in the entire world. Like, how did okay. he did he develop it? <laughs> yeah. I don't so know. I guess you're the smartest man in the world, dumb looking Simon Rex. Yeah. It never does anything in this movie that leads you to believe that he's smart in any no, way. No, he's an idiot. <laughs> um, so we also meet Jamie Presley, another celebrity. Um, 
I mean, uh, television celebrity, I guess. I like Jamie Presley. What was she uh, in? Torx? My Jamie Presley? I mean, oh, Torx. yeah, that's yeah. right. So she was in Can't Hardly Wait, My Name is Earl. My Name is Earl. That was the big, big TV thing. role. But she's done a lot of, like, uh, you know, Poison Ivy Part 3 and yeah. uh, some kind of, uh, like, smaller roles in movies. But she's hilarious. That's another actor that I, ha- I have no contact. Like, I've never seen her. She was in- also in Not Another Teen Movie as the uh, cheerleader. Maybe I've and seen And don't her. forget, the Celebrity Parade doesn't stop because who's that it's thomas kretschman who no <laughs> guys uh don't damaskinos from blade 2 he's the major kane in resident evil apocalypse Was this the guy with Cross the european wanted european yeah, accent? He's european guy okay. oh no shit okay no, so he wait. struck her in avengers age of ultron the guy with the monocle wait he was the bad guy in blade 2 like with the yes. shaped like the kind of marble looking one no he's not that guy uh <laughs> that's a different actor who's damaskinos in blade 2 i'm gonna look it up right now it's probably a lot of bad guys. oh he's the old guy vampire yeah the, the, he looks like he's chiseled out of white marble Yep, that's mm. him. And he kind of comes out of the bloodbath in like the black robe. Well, he's barely in this movie. I think he's in no. like two scenes. Yeah, I he's just... like, oh, Simon Rex is crazy. That's pretty much all he does. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like that's the only like line I think he has in this movie. Yeah. He, clearly... he was in Peter Jackson's King Kong as well as one of the crew members. Really? Weird. What a good career. <laughs> so everyone's in this movie. Yeah. Wow. He played Dr. Joseph Goebbels in American Trader, The Trial of Axis Sally, which is a hilarious vanity project for actor uh, Metal Williams that Al Pacino got paid like four million dollars to be in and like a, a, and a trip. Yeah, it was it, it was featured in that article that came out. I think it was produced by the guy who did all those like Bruce Willis torture movies. Oh no. Mm-hmm. Oh no. The King of the well, Geezer teasers. Teasers, yeah. And those films have like uh, more executive producers than you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> so it's, like, it's money laundering, basically. Yeah, it's money laundering. That's what it is. Well, but anyway, back to Karate Dog. <laughs> okay, so the dog catchers come in who... Oh, they hate dogs, too. Yeah, and I mean, this is a, a trope. It's a staple of the dog movie. Um, evil men who just get no much more joy in life than killing dogs <laughs> so, yeah. and it's terrible it's yeah, terrifying it's like something out of a looney tunes cartoon he comes in like uh or like what's his name in uh roger rabbit the judge yeah <laughs> he's like oh time to give this dog some tlg and they're like oh don't you mean tlc he's like no tlg tag him lock him and gas him terrible so, and like so he just heard a dog was there and was like <laughs> great like i'm good like that, I'm murder. pretty sure like uh, this is like a cartoon thing but like was that ever real uh, like d- dog catchers they, they exist yeah, sure they still yeah. exist but they go around and catch stray dogs they do yeah, yeah. they have to that's their job I it's, really yeah, don't they, like that the, they don't like they're not the, mean they do you want the dogs them. to just run free ripping throats out of children <laughs> <laughs> there'll be 30 to 50 feral dogs <laughs> hey that's a real thing I, heard, I read about it <laughs> 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 it's wild boars running will you be able to get your children into <laughs> the house between 30 to 50 feral dogs that's why I need my submachine gun yeah, that's right exactly. your AR-15s uh, wait am like, I hallucinating wasn't there a movie in the 90s it was like C spot go or something like that and it was about a dog catcher does that ring any bells uh, i don't April? know if it my wasn't... dog skip no it was <laughs> no. about a dog catcher and i thought it starred harlan williams but i'm looking and it <laughs> definitely did not does it exist see spot yeah. go somebody let us know it's, <laughs> it's like, like a kazam or this is shazam. just your brain filled in the poster with harlan williams's face yeah film about a dog catcher like that's what i remember i remember seeing ads and being like why would anybody want to see that you could try like, using oh, one of those yeah. like ai pro like mid journey and trying to create a poster <laughs> with it dog catcher movie poster harlan, harlan williams, williams yeah. ultra realistic 4k <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's what happened. <laughs> and it actually pulls up the real poster. It's like, oh, oh my God, one, one already exists. exists. <laughs> no, uh, even though that Holland Willen for some reason started multiple films with dog in the title, like Dog Pound. So <laughs> maybe that's what I'm thinking of. <laughs> it probably is. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, so as I mentioned earlier, that somebody like a human trips the dog catcher. I think, Maybe yeah. it was Simon, Simon Rex. Simon Rex does. And there's um, like... So Cho Cho runs into the back of his car and stows away with him home. Yeah. He's like, oh, 69 Cougar or the flat top. Yeah. Blah, blah, and blah. Uh, so Simon Rex's house is like. It is enormous. Giant. And he's like, 
oh, it was in a shipyard and it was really cheap. And so I fixed it up. It also has like a bank vault door. <laughs> yeah, it does. It's got a giant like patio. Like what? How? This deck is also, so big. Have you seen his car? He must get paid a hell of a lot of money. Well, he is the smartest man in the world. Yeah, apparently. but the police department don't even respect him. Yeah. Update, guys. Yeah, I wasn't thinking of Harlan Williams. The movie is called Sea Spot Run <laughs> and it stars David Arquette. <laughs> Okay, that's a pretty close approximation. Came out in 2001, <laughs> and I think it's like David Arquette is an FBI man. It has something to do with witness protection, oh, and there's a no. big like dog he has to protect. Oh, okay, what does he go so like? He's un- protecting the dog. Okay, not, okay, not catching the dog. I thought he was like going undercover as a dog catcher to like. Mm. I don't know. Infl- you know, I mean, Infl- what a great cast: Arquette, Michael Clark Duncan, Paul Sorvino, oh, um, Paul no. Anthony no. Anderson. <laughs> Oh, All right, uh, so, so we're back. Simon Rex, uh, Chocho uh, came in the car with him, and he's like, "Hey, I can talk." <laughs> yeah, he like uh, wakes Sorry, him up. That's at night. way too much uh, emotion. Yeah, hey, I can talk. Yeah, hey, I can talk. It's me, How Chocho. Hey, it's Trippy yeah. Trace. Uh, yeah, and he just lays it down. Uh, I can talk. I'm a talking dog, and I want to help solve the. It was. It yeah. wasn't a. It wasn't a break. A, a break and enter or a. a, a failed robbery what is that called break and enter uh, they, there's a, a robbery where someone ends up killed they there's a name what for are it. you talking about yeah, I don't know. <laughs> simon rex has a great reaction here where he goes <laughs> when the dog talks yeah and then he goes dogs don't talk oh, he must think God. he's going crazy and then chevy chase goes my best friend died in my arms <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like with no emotion, just like that. Well, this and is he's the first... like, next thing you'll think, say is that I'm neutered. This is but... the first time we actually see the dog's mouth moving. Yes. So up to this point, like, the dog has been speaking, but and I, and I figured that it was just going to be one of those movies where, you know, they were going to save money by not having the dog yeah, talk. Yeah, there's movies where it's talking and with just suspension of disbelief. Oh, I'm hearing it talk, you even can just, though like, the yeah, mouth does like not Like telepathically move. or yeah. something. No, it moves. And I'm like, wow, okay, they're going all out for the, the talking dog. And this dog and has like a big jaw, too. Like it's a lot. <laughs> it's not just a tiny it's little mouth. It's got like mouth. a Robert Zadar style jaw in your <laughs> kind of, yeah. <laughs> it also walks on its hind legs in the scene. Don't like it. Doesn't look right. Really creepy. Like, mm-hmm. Very satanic. Then, you know, I'm going to say it. And he says stuff like, if I don't laugh, I'm going to cry. And <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, what... There's, Why is this dog movie so serious? He's like improving. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I think he's improving big uh, time. Chetty, yeah, uh, like when he improvs later on when Simon Rex wakes up and the dog's in the bathroom and he's got like a shower cap on <laughs> and he's like, "Don't light another a, a match for another hour." Cause <laughs> yeah, I guess he took uh, a huge shit. Yeah, so he, I was getting like a big uh, what was the uh, Love on a Leash vibe yeah. of like they like hadn't animated the dog yet talking mm-hmm. so it was probably just in the room with the handler like moving its head and then just said chevy do this line do this line do this line and they had to animate it all later it was like judd apatow that's just like uh try this one try this one <laughs> yeah, just, try riff, this one. Riff. just riff, riff man yeah. Riff. yeah exactly it's like hand me some more percocets <laughs> oh poor chevy chase probably on opioids <laughs> oh god <laughs> yeah so this dog like i was expecting some I don't know, explanation for why it behaves like a human, like walks on its like takes showers, takes poops and toilets. <laughs> no. Uh, it can talk. It can drive a car. It can yeah. drive a car. It can do karate. There's no explanation. Like, you know, it wasn't like... <laughs> Yeah, Colin know. kept complaining, like, it's a real Mary Sue of a dog. <laughs> Give us some explanation. I thought that it had something to do with He's a with hairy Pat Sue. Marita, but <laughs> a, hairy. a hairy Sue. That's funny. That's <laughs> good. That's good. Um, so Simon Rex, he takes the dog with him to work. Yeah, they interrogate the dog because he but thinks... But first, hey, we are introduced to the real star of this film, John Voight's ponytail. Oh my god! Yeah, so uh, we get a scene with John Voight like, doing a southern accent. He's like, I guess. Yeah, he's like Foghorn Leghorn. It's a like, I'm from New Orleans. Gentleman accent. Oh, oh, oh. It's actually pretty consistent. It's good. I, <laughs> you know, I gotta say, I, I don't want to steal it from anybody, but John Voight, by far, my favorite thing in this I movie. I mean, absolutely. Like, there's no contest about this movie. No, like, he's he, committed. He is committed. Um, you know, he could, could have just like hammed it up 
too much, but he's, what you mean, he's like, you, like in you Deadly Lessons? You think he plays it like close to the vets in this movie? Where he's like, he's, ho, ho, I love Chinese karate. I mean, he's pretty, he's oh, pretty oh. hammy. He is hammy, but you know, he's he shows some restraint. Isn't he like breaking boards in this scene? Too? Yep. <laughs> like, oh yeah. Colin's yep. like, mm, yeah. He could have played this bigger than this, but you know, he kept it straight. Could have gone way over the top. And did but. you see the shot where he's supposed to be doing a spin kick and breaks the board, and it's like a Texas switch because like a, yeah, a leg comes from out the side of the frame and then he just pops up from the <laughs> I mean great. in comparison he is not playing the character he did in Deadly Lesson yeah. no not like no. that was like another planet like this yes. is actually more subtle than that yeah no he's giving a perfect performance for this movie he knows what he's in I wish everybody else would like nobody mm. is, is yeah is I mean Jamie Presley anything. is like asleep in this yeah she's fine but, she's barely oh. I mean, she's well, okay. She's got no jokes she's to do. She's got nothing to do, no. yeah. Yeah, Simon Rex is just... Ugh, do you think they cast him because his last name was Rex? Probably. Yeah. You were born it's like when they hired dogs. Mark Webb for the Spider-Man movie. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, exactly. They were just like, hmm, sounds like a dog name. I can't stop <laughs> thinking about this Simon Rex guy. Ah, I just cast him. He's cheap. And then we learn that he legally changed his name just to get into Karate Dog. He's like, it worked. Well, I was saying last <laughs> night, that's that can't be his given name. That's clearly like I changed my name. To be yeah, his real name is like Simon Rex Stofferson or something like that. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> it's definitely not Simon Rex because Rex is not a name. And not a last name, uh, anyway. The T-Rex would have something to say about that. <laughs> uh, I'm um, sure there's So Rexes. we also meet, uh, I don't know if they're both his kids are in this scene or just the one, the son with the ridiculous sunglasses. Yeah, the son walks in, John Voight's son. Uh, he looks kind of like a really obese Elton John impersonator. Yeah, so it took, it took me the whole movie to figure out who he is, but he is the guy from Varsity Blues. Um, oh, the overweight right. gentleman in that. And right. then who also was in Not Another Teen Movie. So it's a Not Another Teen Movie reunion over here. Um, and uh, yeah, he's okay in this. And John Voight's daughter, the blonde woman. I think that's woman. the blonde woman, yeah. She well, looks... you know who she is, right? Well, apparently she was in Deadly Lessons, but I don't remember what. She's who. a Paul. She's oh. Bonnie Paul. Oh my God. Sister of Stuart and Steven. Jesus. Oh my God, okay. Because I'm who thinking. starred in a vanity movie that I have on DVD and I haven't watched about her being like a country star. Oh my so, God. If I could buy that, yeah. Yeah, it was something because I never. Never ever got until I watched this the second time. I never got that she was supposed to be John Boyd's you, daughter. You watched it twice. I, yeah, he I watched did. it again to take notes. To take Colin notes. does his due diligence when he <laughs> yeah. does know such thing as a bad movie. But the thing is, I, like, she looks far too old to be John Boyd's daughter. I know, but I, John Boyd is actually supposed to be older. Yeah, so it, it, yeah, she was like reminding me of that southern blonde lady and tough guys don't dance. I was like, <laughs> oh yeah, could it be right. her? And it's not her. <laughs> it's definitely not her. Um, but yeah, so uh, Simon Rex shows up at at John Voight's house. Yeah, John Voight has like a, a racetrack, like a dog racetrack. Mm-hmm. So I guess that's how he makes his money. Um, we do see some cute greyhounds in the scene. Uh, greyhounds oh, are, are do really, really we? Cute. Especially for Chocho. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Simon Rex is like doing his thing, trying to get info, but like Chocho's doing all the real work in the kennel. The real leg work. Talking to all the, <laughs> the, the uh, dogs. There's another southern dog. She's like a southern bale. Southern bale. Slack and hat. And then uh, somehow dog. the dog ends up driving the car <laughs> and there's a car chase. <laughs> well, he, well, geez, he okay. notices that the bad guy's leaving. Yeah, the bad guy sticks his hand out. We still don't know who the bad guy is who killed Pat Morita, but Chocho bit him on the arm. So he says, whoever has the bite mark on his wrist is the killer. By the way, the, the bad guy that we're mentioning in the scene that killed Pat Morita, he had like a V from Vendetta mask on. Yeah, <laughs> so that's can, why we couldn't tell him. Uh, he, kind of, he had more of a sledgehammer mask from the slasher film. Oh, yeah, okay. And he okay. kind of has this voice modulator so you don't know who it is. Yeah, it's so like, we're searching it, it's for this Boyd, guy. It's John Boyd, guys, come on. We, we, like, there's, there, there's not that didn't many... It look like um, his body, though. It, it was not him. <laughs> it was <laughs> not him. No. <laughs> he was a very slim, slim Like tall It man. might as well have been the guy from Varsity Blues. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. So Chocho sees a guy driving away with a bandage on his wrist and he goes that's the guy i bit him follow that car so simon rex is like what and uh Chocho he, steals the car. <laughs> he starts driving the car there's some uh, very funny far away shots of like a puppet dog driving the car that i very much enjoyed <laughs> it's like <laughs> I never physically 
he's his legs would not fit. No. Uh, not reach, but you just see a close up of like a puppet dog foot on the gas pedal, <laughs> which is pretty funny. Any kind of instances of puppet uh, dog limbs, yeah, for sure, are hilarious. You just know it's like a piece of fur on a stick. Like, oh, yes. we also uh, skip the part, and it's very important in this film that the dog hates cats. Yeah, like. He it's thinks racist. that they did the JFK assassination. <laughs> He's racist against cats. Chemtrails, all that kind of stuff. I'm saying that as a cat person. Yeah, so this dog is like a, he's like a nut job, like QAnon, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's a, let's say, John Voidish. Speaking of V for Vendetta. Um, he's a Chew Anon. Th- okay. <laughs> oh, man. Right. Colin's on fire this episode. <laughs> We've been writing the, I spent all morning writing these down. <laughs> no, I'm he watched the movie two times and then spent three hours writing, right, writing like dog puns. Yeah. Just at the office, like, oh, well, what's Colin writing in there? He's furiously typing. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, will, will you look at it just says the karate dog a hundred times on a piece of paper? <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I guess the the dog crashes Simon Rex's car. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, there is a big leap in logic to the next scene with Simon Rex because suddenly he's on a date with Jamie Presley, and the dog is directing what to do in his ear. <laughs> yeah, well, the dog actually asks Jamie Presley out on yeah, a date earlier, for Simon Rex. He just says. Hey, want to go out to me to the Amazon Lounge? And she's looking the other way, and she's like, "Oh shoot!" And it, it, he sounds nothing like Simon Rex at all. It's just Chevy <laughs> Chase's voice. But she's like, "Oh, okay." She apparently likes him. Yeah. So, so I was hoping, yeah, that was that's what was going to happen in this scene. I'm like, "Oh my god, is he doing like a Cyrano de Bergerac?" And he is. And he is. He's uh, Simon Rex has like this earpiece, and all he is is just turning to the side slightly. And she can't see it, apparently. Like he's so, it's a huge earpiece. Yeah, he's so inept at like talking to actual human beings that he's a dog is feeding him lines through an earpiece. Yeah, and so this is the end of Cho-Cho being a, Mary, a Harry Sue because he is giving him terrible advice and terrible <laughs> lines to say. Well, it's the classic like... Oh, I hate cats. There's a cat. And then Simon Rex repeats, I hate cats. And it's like, Simon, yeah. what are you doing? He's like, oh, the smell of your skin. I'd like to lick your face and all this uh, sort of stuff. Yeah, and, and I like, mean, good uh. for Jamie Presley for being like, you said you want to kill cats. I'm out of here. <laughs> and then Simon Rex like chases her. Like, no, no, no way, you don't understand. No and then, yeah, he to, like talks her into going for a walk through the park right there. And then we also get like, Intercut with Chevy Chase's dog also on a date. Cho Cho a- just saw a hot looking poodle and uh, decided to take her around the park. And we get some really, really bad green screen, blue screen. This is a weird shot of Simon Rex being pushed on a swing by Jamie. Yeah, I was like, what is happening? <laughs> is he like a child? Like, and she's wearing like his jacket. So it's almost like maybe there was a funny like lead into that um, or were they just messing around on set and thought this will be funny I don't know. Random. It, yeah. uh, did it's, that just happen <laughs> yeah but it's like uh, if you look at her face uh, she is really uncomfortable yeah, she looks weirded out and she's like why is this guy asking me to push him on a swing well maybe the director told her to do that and she's, is he 12 she's like what <laughs> no she's a pro she's acting in the scene yeah but we intercut with like two scenes of the dogs on blue screen yeah like taking a whiz on a fire hydrant and then on a seesaw for some reason and they're not taking a whiz on a seesaw they're just <laughs> oh, on a that'd seesaw be great. I wish. <laughs> they're riding a seesaw it's just bizarre very weird <laughs> And then we cut to Simon Rex, go back to his house, and oh no, Chocho at a party? <laughs> I don't know how Chocho had time to set up this party. He was out with the poodle. Yeah, this you is know. insane. Um, but oh, it's great. There's like dogs dancing, like CGI dogs, like they're doing on like their the hind con- legs, dancing, they're, they're, doing the cha-cha. Yeah, they're or, doing like the conga like, line. line. Yeah. The conga line. And so There's you have- There's a dog that's a DJ? Like, <laughs> He's doing the scratching. Okay, so the, the Jack Russell DJ is so cute. It's a real dog. Um, but Scratching the, the other table. dogs are are kind of like the furry vengeance, like they're real, but they're comped in. Wait, didn't this also happen in Furry Vengeance that there was a party going on? Yes, where he has a nightmare where he goes down yeah, into the kitchen right. and the animals are all. I think there was even a dog DJ in that scene too. There should Nothing always be funnier. a dog DJ. It was some kind of DJ, yeah. Um, so there's decorations all over the place. There's junk food everywhere. There's a chihuahua that floats by on a balloon. Yeah, <laughs> there's, yeah. There's like a dog, you know, his it's arm ridiculous. around two other. People poodles in like a hot tub or something yeah no, okay so it's a rottweiler and simon rex goes hey like because he knows this dog is probably the police dog he's like hey you have two little puppies at home i just saw your wife <laughs> and the other dog's like 
you, you told me that you were single, you dog. Like, uh, <laughs> it's the jokes are terrible. People. So bad. It was like Chevy Chase write them. Yeah, I, I, I mean. <laughs> But they have, um, if you look at the dog, I just love the disconnect between what the dogs are doing and then their faces, <clears throat> like their dead yeah. faces. Did we mention the rocking and rolling yet? <laughs> you make it sound like all the dogs are dead and like being puppeted. They're just taxidermy. They, they don't want to be there. <laughs> no, but the Jack no, Russell, who, the Jack Russell's who's doing like, he's spinning on the turntable there. And, it looks like, like his hand is like stapled to the, the turntable. <laughs> yeah, or like taped to it. And then mm-hmm. he's staring like off screen clearly at his handler yeah, with oh, treats yeah. or something. And he looks very, very very confused yeah um but yeah so a lot of the the animal shots are like played back and reversed and played back and reversed and it's like jingle cats if you've seen that yeah um and it looks just terrible yeah it's really just funny. terrible well they have to kind of extend the shot out exactly because the cat or dog it clearly moves yeah they don't yeah. want to be there so then yeah simon rex <clears> like <throat> he's like party's over everybody out and then a dog like pees on his leg of course. Uh, Chevy Chase explains. Oh, we didn't mention there were dogs playing poker as well. Oh, yes, yeah. That's another and joke. Simon Rex is like, oh, that's so obvious. Yeah, I should have like, expected that. <laughs> um, but then there is, and then Chevy Chase kind of explains that, uh, no, man, I was gathering intelligence. You know, these are all dogs from the streets, and I was and trying to figure out what was going on at the kennel. And he figures out what's happening at the racetrack yeah, with so the greyhounds. John Void is like, you know the the green goo from the beginning. John Voight's been feeding this to the to the race dogs, mm-hmm. and also taking it himself. <laughs> yeah. which you you would think would like either maybe maybe <clears throat> make him a dog, yeah. or something funny. But he just looks sick. Like he has like boils on his face, and he has more energy. That's yeah, I it. kept. Ex- I, I wonder if they shot some scenes out of order because kind of <laughs> earlier on in the movie, I told April, oh "My God, he's got this really red looking nose." Wow, well, like maybe he was just drunk in that scene. <laughs> well, that's, yeah, what, like that's really what I red I, I couldn't tell if it was makeup or if it was actually just him. Yeah, and he was like, hey, what's going on? And I noticed it was very cold when they were shooting because you could see their breath in so that maybe scene. maybe he was oh, just cold. I don't yeah. know. It wasn't like a gin And blossom. you know, he took a little nips from his uh, flask to keep him going that night. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, and then the, yet the characters stayed consistent. This is a parody, John. Don't, please, don't reach out and sue me. I'm <laughs> Um, so then they decide to infiltrate Biotech, which was the company that Pat Morito was seen at at the beginning in the intro scene. Yeah, and like Simon Rex is like doing research, and he's like, "Wait a minute, what was the last place that that Pat Morita went? Biotech. Yeah, he I must have been like Lori Petty's doing. computer is doing all the, yeah, the hard work. Yeah. You know what's uh, really fresh? Mission Impossible parodies. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. We get one of those. Five, you know what? Boy. I chuckled when the dog was wearing a costume, like a beard and glasses to go undercover. Yeah, yeah, it was cute. It just looks so confused. Like, they don't know. You know, it's hanging from this harness. I'm sure it's not uh, as high up as I felt so bad looks. for that dog. I feel bad for all the dogs. It's that high up. It was wagging <laughs> I, feel, I feel bad for Simon Rex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The dog was wagging its tail, at least. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. He's okay. having a good time, So I guess. he's, like, swinging around this room. But there is, yeah. They do the Mission Impossible, but there is a funny shot where the dog, like, swings up to the computer console, and then it inserts a CD into it. Oh, and it's, it's the hand comes out <laughs> and puts it in. And it's, like, yeah. a shaky dog hand, as yeah. if, like, they want it to look, like, suspenseful. It's just, like, on a stick. It's, it's just, like, a glove on a human hand, yeah, I think. I don't know. But, you know. It, just, it does not, like, attach to that dog at all. It's really funny. And then they get the CD and they bring it to their boss, uh, the captain of the police, who just hates his wife. Like, it's a running gag that is not funny. Yeah, he's got a picture of her on the dartboard. Yeah, I mean, before that, in the lab scene, John Voight, like, uh, explains, I've been taking it. And he shows this ugly picture of himself. He's like, this is what I used to look like. I'm actually 77 years old or yeah. something. And he's, like, all aged up and stuff. So yeah, I, and, I, and, and, like, even I wish the, they had, like, smoothed him out with CGI. <laughs> I so can't funny. do that yet. <laughs> but even, like, his kids are like, we weren't supposed to start testing on humans yet, so they're against this whole thing. Yeah. But he's he's Why gone would off John Boyd take the dog medicine? I don't know. Well, but, apparently it's the same medicine, and he was just testing it on dogs first. Yeah, huh. you could see that all the dogs were like turned into you know dog running champions. Or we dog also champions. forgot to mention that John Voight's character was adopted, and this informs his whole. Evil <laughs> oh, it plan. is very important for the see, end of the movie. He has motivation. <laughs> yeah, the green goo. He says that's like the fountain of youth, and he's yeah. like, "Wow, well, you know, people won't die. Children's won't be." Often. Yeah, but that's the whole thing. Orphaned. It's not just people won't die. It's, I said, I said, boy. <laughs> parents will not die so they can 
not leave their kids orphans. Okay. He was uh, orphaned and he was very upset about that. Yeah. Well, uh, we need to get to my favorite part, which is that Simon Rex puts the CD into the computer and then we are treated to a very large John Voight caricature dressed as a ninja who tells the people, your computer's about to explode in four seconds. Yeah, it's like... Do you think John Voight signed off on this, like... I don't know. It's, yes. it's his voice, though, so... <laughs> yeah. Okay, but, you know, if you were trying to be stealthy about it and wipe these computers... You don't appear on the screen <laughs> yes. in your own voice saying, oh, you want the formula to lock Like, nine incredibly nine. fat. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, Yeah, so that all the cop computers blow up. And it's blow like, up. Oh, Damn you, uh, I wrote it, that the music is in these scenes is so serious. Like, yeah. how do people, like, sit there and write music for these kind of movies? Oh. It's either circus music, like, do 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 <laughs> Stock or music. it's like very sad piano like doo, 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 I'd be doo, shocked doo, doo. I'd be it's shocked true. if it was actually written for the movie and if it wasn't just like, you think it's like a, some stock yeah, just generic. I think that's mm-hmm. what we said about Deadly Lessons if I recall that it sounded uh, just like no? stock library music uh, Deadly Lessons was written by Michel Legrand a very famous composer that's right who I did, like, the Umbrellas of Cherbourg. Yeah, and, but it uh, wasn't probably written for Deadly Lessons. Yeah, probably lessons. not written for it probably Deadly probably already exists. Because it sounded yeah. so inappropriate for that movie. <laughs> yeah. Like, mm-hmm. You can't believe that somebody would, like, look at the movie and go, I, yes, I, can't, yes. I gotta say, like, I almost feel like like watching Deadly Lessons again after this movie, like just in, in in comparison, because that was a lot crazier than this, you know? Yeah. But had so many more like what the fuck moments. I'm starting to appreciate it more is what I'm saying. <laughs> You're saying I gave it five stars. I don't need to watch it again. I appreciated it correctly when I saw it. <laughs> Uh, so I yeah. mean, don't you appreciate the next scene where they go back to the racetrack and they find a desiccated, drug-addicted dog? No, oh God. this was my least favorite scene in the movie, and I was really, really sad watching it. Cause yeah, I do like He's that. like, what's going on, Grandma? And they're like, that's not Grandma. That's the that's the that's star that's dog Southern racer. Beauty. That's Southern Beauty. Southern, Be- and, Southern Beauty. <laughs> and then later on, Chevy Chase like very solemnly goes like, Southern Beauty just died from those drugs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It does. Now the saddest part, which I don't even want to repeat it, was, do you know how old I am? I'm two. <laughs> oh. oh God. But there is a funny scene where they kind of infiltrate the lab. Um, That's fourteen in dog years. Again, she should not be yeah, having any sex at that point. <laughs> <laughs> they infiltrate the lab. You see a really funny scene of John Voight like dancing to the fridge, all the way to the fridge to get some yeah, of the green goo. Yeah, he can't just walk normally. Yeah. He's like he's he's mamboing all over the and place. You know, well, you know, the it's cr- revealed that that southern that that goo is going to be added to children's breakfast cereal. Oh God! <laughs> yeah, I'm too, mommy. It gives them all southern accents. The Southern Beauty <laughs> says like, yeah, you start off, you know, feeling really great, but then your brain goes crazy or something like that. It's all you can think about. And then you get sick and it's really sad seeing this dog. Don't give drugs to dogs. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely not performance enhancing drugs. Yeah. And don't take them yourself, John Voight. Um, Yeah. So it's too late for that. (laughs) We see, uh, yeah. So John Voight gets the green goo. We see that it's in this like fridge. So this is like some, some super top secret, like formula and there is a glass exit door like two feet from this fridge yeah it's right there <laughs> that they just sneak in <laughs> grab it and sneak out it's very yeah, like anybody could be looking it's in. like a backyard like yeah glass it's, sliding it's like door. a double glass door yeah <laughs> it's like okay don't keep it anywhere secret um they, they get caught simon rex gets suspended uh, the dog catcher gets Chocho. Oh no! Now can't, we gotta go to the gotta, kill shelter. Gotta go to the the kill pound or whatever. It's kind of funny because they have like they show all the animals. Aren't they kind of tapping along to music? They have like a musical number, kind of. I think Chevy Chase is singing, isn't he? He sings a lot in this movie. Yeah, we forgot oh, to mention he sings. <laughs> he sings too. He sings along to he, all the sound. He's a lights. real Jim Belush. <laughs> yeah. He wishes. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, Jimmy Chase looks at a photo of Jim Belushi and he's like, I wish I had this charisma this dynamo <laughs> pee uh, in jars no, he's guy's a, success. He's like, why does every, why did everybody love Jim Belushi and not me? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why does everybody hate him? Why can't it be according to <laughs> Chevy? <laughs> Although Jim's a jerk too, so. What? <laughs> yeah, I know. He's a horrible monster. <laughs> well, Chevy Chase, notorious horrible person notorious asshole yeah yeah uh, so uh simon rector shows up at the dog pound with a gigantic 
uh, CGI assisted Spuds McKenzie. I was very confused. It's well, like, but right before that, uh, Chocho meets like a cat at the pound, and uh, he he learns to change his mind about cats. And that cat is voiced by someone. Someone I don't know. Oh, it's the chick from Desperate Housewives. <laughs> I do I do love that. Like in the pen in Chocho's like cage on the back wall is like kind of scrawled, "Help me." <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> like previous dogs have like written in there. Don't even make me think <laughs> about sorry, it. Sorry, sorry. April, when dogs in their last moments to try to save themselves, they talk and they write, it's but it's, uh, humans sad. don't care. They've been, you know, um, desensitized to those kind of things. Mm-hmm. That's why we heard our own. Yeah, it's when you see those Sarah McLaughlin commercials. Mm-hmm. Very sad. In the I will remember. That's a Sarah McLaughlin song, right? It's a different oh, song. God, I don't it's know. In the commercial, so but sad. you're close enough. They're so sad. Um, yeah. Anyway, so, it's okay. been one week since. I- <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So uh, yeah, he brings in a, a, a CGI enlarged and large Spuds McKenzie. <laughs> yeah, it's so. I funny. love Spuds. He's the original party animal. Its name is like Hannibal, and he's like Hannibal doesn't like uh, dog catchers. Yeah, where did he get this dog? Did I don't he confiscate know. Confiscate him from like a drug lord? No idea. Um, it's unnaturally, you big. have to. Watch Watch the uh, web only series <laughs> yeah. that explains where you got Hannibal. Yeah. So and like, didn't Marvel do like a <clears throat> precursor comic run <laughs> of, <this? laughs> of karate the dog. Hannibal Chronicles of how the Spuds Mackenzie dog came to be? Excelsior, <laughs> the Karate Dog. Oh, I, it would no. It would be pu- published by like Harvey Comics or something like that, or like Gold <laughs> Key. It's like a real shitty comic book publisher. No, we're like, uh, what's his nuts? The, it's his, the Stuart Paul brothers. Oh, Maybe the like Paul brothers? Paul Comics or something. Yeah. Mm. Wait, isn't there a cartoon? Oh, yeah, his name, Hong Kong Fooey. I was thinking of, like, previous martial arts dogs. Mm. He's a dog, right? Yeah. Colin number one know. super guy. I, Hong Kong Fooey, number oh, one super I don't, I don't, guy. I don't know. It's... Yeah, that's before our time. They, yep, he's a dog voiced by Scatman Crothers. <laughs> yeah, mm. they made a movie. Where there was a, yeah, there was a CGI Hong Kong Fooey. I'm pretty sure. Uh, Am I imagining this? Oh, I don't know. I've never even heard of this thing. I know. I think you're thinking of Super Dog. No. No. Oh, they going okay. to, maybe they were going to make underdog? a Hong Kong Fooey. No. Yeah, Underdog. That's what I was thinking of. No. Oh man. Okay. <laughs> Colin's okay. getting like a wait, wait. Uh, <laughs> did it get canceled? I think it might have been. Canceled. It was supposed to be come out in 2019. Yes. There's some horrifying photos. Oh God, the dog has a mouthful of teeth. Oh yeah. But, Ew. Yeah, he's really creepy. Uh, so maybe they decided at the last moment not to do it. <laughs> Who is he supposed to be voiced by? I don't uh, know. Hong Kong Fooey the movie. 2019 development. Uh, Who's supposed yeah. to direct it? It was a guy named Alex Zam. I'm not familiar with it. The film was supposed to star Eddie Murphy. Oh, my As God. Penry Hong Kong Fooey. Jeff Garland, Mary Abello, Brian Blessed, James oh. Hong, Elizabeth Banks, looking at the Hank picture. Azaria. <laughs> I think the cartoon. It was a Warner Brothers movies. The cartoon looks Edited creepier. by Ben Burt. <laughs> what? Wait. So they got all these people on board? I and can't find any it? information about it. Like, what happened to the movie? I feel like there's like a lost media. Yeah, there's got to be something. Man, I could swear that that was coming out or had come no, out. No, there's like really nothing that they <laughs> announced it was happening. I think only test footage came out. Oh, okay. Maybe it played at some Warner's conference or convention mm-hmm. or something like that. Well, are you upset? You're not uh, going to get your Hong Kong. Yeah. No, not Colin, really. Uh, Colin has tears streaming down his cheeks. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, okay, so we got to get to the big climax. Um, so I mean, this is the highlight of the movie. We go oh, to uh, some convention center or the lab or something where John Voight's giving a big presentation and he's like deteriorating yeah, as he's it's happening. Of, yeah, he's got like. And not in a funny way. Like, no, he looks oh, like God, he's been sick. exposed to radiation. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Right? <laughs> yeah, he's got like lesions on his face. Yeah, it's really gross. And he's kind of twitching. He started twitching and like. Yeah, you know, and his son strangely. is like noticing things and he's like, okay, let's get away from the microphone now. But I guess it's like a press conference. They're going to announce they're releasing this into if, the wild, yeah. like lot 99 or whatever. Yeah, but like J- John Voigt seems to be suffering from dementia because uh, at yeah. one point he's like, where am I? Who are <laughs> exactly. you? Like, not in a funny way. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then. Uh, oh, that's just him in real life. They come in yeah. with Chocho and Simon come in with all the dogs from the pound and the cats and they come in and scare everybody away. Mm hmm. And uh, then we end up on the rooftop for the big climax. My God almighty. It's 2005. We're still doing Matrix. Great lines in this. Like uh, John Voight screams, you want a piece of me, dog? And (laughs) Chevy Chase goes, I want justice. (laughs) 
Yeah, and so this is the only time other than in the opening sequence he does karate, right? Yeah. yeah. Bit of a false advertising there. I don't know. Well, you know, this is a this I mean, a masterclass in action This right is here. the build up, right? Yeah. Like you're everyone's been waiting for this karate and when it delivers, <laughs> it does not disappoint. When is the do dog? we get a Matrix parody where he's like, "Oh," and he like leans back? <laughs> yeah. Of course we do. We get two Matrix shots. Yeah, the one oh. where they're flying at each other, that's yeah. from yeah. Matrix too. Oh my god. Dun, 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 yeah. dun, dun, there's some pretty, dun, dun, pretty funny wire work here. Uh, yeah. That's all I got to say about this. Uh, yeah, John I mean, Voight does all of his own stunts, he does. clearly. Jamie Presley gets to do some wire work. She does in a time. fight scene earlier. Yeah. And also, John Voight throws a kitchen sink at Chocho. Yeah. Mm. He's in a, he ends up in a, a dumpster. Junk pile. A d- junk <laughs> pile. Where he deserves, he to, deserves be. to be. Yeah. <laughs> Where this movie deserves to be. Aw. Uh, um, so, yeah. Um, <laughs> John Voight has his big speech here where he's like, I search for the fountain of youth so no child would be orphaned again. <laughs> yeah, so he's got, uh, you know, good intentions, I guess. I guess. Is that really an issue that, like, like kids don't want parents to get old and pass away? I think at a certain point you have to let them go and live your own life. I mean... No, I think it, his parents, like... Died. They died like, when he was very young, and I yeah. guess he ended yeah, up but in from orphanage. old age. I don't is think that so. what they died from. That doesn't make any sense. I think it was an accident. But the thing is, yeah. plenty of kids <laughs> end up in orphanage, orphanages for <laughs> reasons other than the parents dying very young. Yeah, of old age, maybe. Yeah, exactly. Because they don't seem to indicate that the like drug will heal your thing. It just makes you younger. I mean, it just makes you feel younger and look mm-hmm. younger, I guess. Makes you good at karate, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, John Boyd gets already... big, bushy eyebrows in the sequence, too. Like, this yeah, is he's, one of his changes. He's off the rails. Um, so I think he, he, he kind of gets his, his, his butt kicked. And then uh, we think everything is okay, but then the sun has a gun. And Wait, he... no, no, no. You're skipping well, over what, what a happens? very important part of this fight. When they jump together and the dog goes, super lick! Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's licks. disgusting. But like, John why Voight's does that stop for, like, him? One minute. Like, he's like... Yeah. Oh, so so just because John Voight's getting his face licked... He, John he's Boyd's defeated. Like, oh, oh. <laughs> he's defeated. No, he kind of like grabs onto something and electrocutes himself. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He oh, electrocutes himself. Because he was wet from the slobber? <laughs> Probably. Wait, the dog hits him with his tail, and he does one other thing, too. What I'm surprised do? the dog doesn't fart in John Voight's face in this movie. No, hey, the, this the is Pauls, a classy. Yeah, the Pauls are above that, Justin. Mm-hmm. Please. I'm sorry, I'm Please. sorry. How, how dare I? Wait, isn't there a fart in Deadly Lessons Isn't there like point? a giant shitball or something in Deadly Lessons? <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> or is it chocolate? Can, oh, it's chocolate. Yeah. It's what John Voight is eating because he, he loves he chocolate. He chocolate mm-hmm. out, I think, at one point. And lo- oh, like yes. Oh, don't make me think about it. It's making me like shake and feel uncomfortable. <laughs> Um, okay, so I want to get to the part where the son is shooting a gun. He at, tries to mm-hmm. shoot Simon Rex. And, well, I mean, you, you can guess what happens. Yeah, I was like, oh, Yep, man. the dog jumps in between them. Classic uh, Turner and Hooch move. In Chevy slow Chase motion. and slow-mo going, no. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he takes a bullet for him. Um, and then he's, but he's okay, folks. Uh, no, it, it, it's easy to believe there's that There's a he's fake dead. out, yeah. Yeah, he's like, oh, Whatever, I'm dying. It's like Simon Rex is like accepting his like medal of honor, and he's like, "It's too bad Chocho didn't survive." <laughs> Wait a second, and then Chocho like pulls up in a car or something. <laughs> Do you think that ever happens in real life? Like no. people get medals thinking that the person that helped them died, and then they pull up <laughs> at the last not. moment to be revealed to be alive. Like, oh my god. No. We caught. We said that Chocho was dead, and then we moved him to a better hospital and declared him alive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Chocho's fine. Yeah, he pulls up. Uh, yeah, he runs on stage, and then uh, Simon Rex puts the uh, the medal yeah. around his neck. And again, the dog looks so confused. Why yeah, everybody is clapping? He doesn't know what's going on. Yeah. Um, and then it cuts to all the dogs <laughs> having a playing in a band. <laughs> oh my God, Almighty! Singing uh, the Big Bopper song. Chantilly Lee. <laughs> Yeah, um, and, this, like, and, and dog... like suddenly everybody in the movie can now see the dogs can sing. Yeah, play the violin. There's like a Dalmatian yeah, playing. He's no, playing like, like a cello or bass. something. The drums. Yeah. There's the one playing the drums. The dog playing the drums ridiculous. is so funny. There's so... one dog playing the keyboard, and yeah. he is definitely not moving to the beat of that music <laughs> with his <laughs> tiny little paws. At least no. the dog playing drums looks like he's keeping time. <laughs> like whoever's like pulling the wires and stuff, or you know. Yeah. But his face is so funny. Yeah. Oh my 
god so we sing in with the cat too the cat's there just the cat singing yeah and she's rocking and rolling all over the place and at first like all the cops are there watching this kind of horrified i thought it was just him and jamie presley no No, all the cops are there too there's like a wide shot yeah because i guess uh he says to the dog like you know you you promised if we arrested john voight you promised you'd play in the band and like because up to this point, he's been trying to prove that the dog speaks right. in front of everybody. So all the cops are just horrified, as you would be, watching a bunch of dogs play a band. If it looked like that. Yeah. Yeah. Are you saying like if they were more professional looking, like he wouldn't be as horrified? <laughs> I don't know. It just yeah. it looked less uh, I mean, April unnatural. hates the big bopper. If they played any other song <laughs> I than only that. Just if recently... they were like, what I like about you. Yeah. <laughs> I only just recently found out who the fuck the big bopper was. <laughs> um, uh, the, Hello, mama. Yeah, yeah. It's the day A the, baby. The day the music died. Yeah. He, yeah. he died with Richie Valens and, and Buddy Holly. And he was Holly. just as talented Let's as Let's let the guys. monkey drive. <laughs> Uh, have you not seen that uh, Kids in the Hall sketch no. about the day the music died oh, and it's all like, of them are um, huge assholes? I'm Buddy uh, fucking Holly. <laughs> Holly, yeah. I can fly a plane because I'm Buddy fucking Holly. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, the all the cops start getting into it. The They're all like over. clapping along and dancing yeah. and singing. Uh, yeah. And that's it, right? That's credits. it. And then end credits uh, set to a Randy Travis song. Who's sing? He said Cho Cho. So like, it, it was written for. Who's Randy Travis? Oh, he's like a country, country legend. Oh, hmm. Yeah, but you start, you're thinking, okay, they just like, whatever. Licensed, they wrote this song for. Licensed a Randy Travis song. And then had him just sing Cho Cho at the beginning. I don't know. They just Add licensed it. Cho Cho line. You're thinking that they Hello, just licensed Cho, it for the Cho. Movie. Like it, was, it starts out with like. My name is Chocho. Many just start singing a song. Wait, is the song yeah. from the point of view of Chocho the dog? I don't know. Like, it could be, I'm it a could karate be. dog. Karate dog. K- 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 karate dog. It should have had a rap, and it should have been Chevy oh, yeah, Chase. Yeah, rap. for a kids' movie, I'm surprised it didn't end with a rap song. It, I mean, yeah, on. missed opportunity. Just like the ball biting um, fart jokes. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, did you what? What did you guys think of this movie? Because I didn't hate it, even though it's terrible. Yeah. I thought it's fine. I don't think it's like a bad movie classic by any stretch of the imagination. No. Watch the clip of John Voight in the climax. That's like the funniest part. Karate Dog, four stars. Yeah. All right, next. So, <laughs> next. Yeah, so anyway, like, I wasn't bored watching this. I wasn't mm. annoyed or like, like... Well, falling asleep. I cannot say I was not any of those things. <laughs> yeah. I was... I. I, I I feel like uh, there's a lot worse dog kids movies out there. You get the weird I'm like sure. Paul family influence in this, and mm-hmm. the CGI is like something to behold. It's yeah, so bad. It's, it's a weird mix. Like John Voight knows what he's doing. He's kind of entertaining uh, Chevy Chase. Jesus Christ! So I think the combo. It's funny. Like I think. Yeah, if they had gotten a better actor for the Chevy Chase role, it may not have worked. You no, know what I mean? it's funnier that he's <laughs> just like, hey, um, um, hey. I'm, I'm, I'm Have you I'm guys seen the poster for Karate Dog? Like the one that looks like it came out in the like late 2000s? I the one where he's just like holding up like a dog badge yeah. or something or a police badge? Yeah, there's a bulldog with an eye patch yeah, on that it. Dog, <laughs> Why? Not in the movie. <laughs> no, false advertising. Maybe it was like deleted scenes or something. <laughs> De- <laughs> yeah, deleted too, dogs. Too scary. Yeah. Um, well, where can we watch this movie? Well, you can buy it off eBay for less than ten dollars. <laughs> oh god, that's really it. It's not. It's shockingly not on Tubi. Yeah, yeah, that is shocking. That is shocking. But it is out there. You can get a copy of it if you really want to for not that much money. I have it on like a like dog like <laughs> quadruple pack that comes with like a Dean Cain dog movie too. Nice. I wonder if that's the Bailey's Billions. Well, he, it's he not. Ba- it's like lot. Treasure Hounds or something oh, like my, that. Oh my, he was in so. another one. Oh, yeah. he's probably been in like a bajillion terrible movie, like oh, kids what did movies. Oh, the? I think uh, Tim Curry was also in Bailey's Billions with Dean Cain and Ugh. Harlan Williams was as well. Uh, Harlan oh, Williams no. again. And apparently Tim Curry, okay, this is what I heard, uh, when he rapped and they said, okay, it's the last shot for like Tim Curry, blah, blah, blah. Uh, everyone hated the director apparently. And Tim <laughs> Curry like said, I just have to say before I leave, this director was the worst person I've ever worked for, and this was the most unprofessional production I've ever worked for in my life. And he said that in front of everybody? Yes, and he said, goodbye, and then Mike <laughs> left. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> That's very funny. Man's a legend. Yeah, they're like, oh, God, the director's directing this like it's <clears throat> like Citizen Kane. It's like a fucking dog movie. <laughs> 
Huh. Uh, okay. Well, that's it for uh, Karate Dog. Uh, if you want to email the podcast, we're at no such thing as a bad movie at gmail.com. And we're on Twitter at no such thing pod. And we're on Patreon, patreon.com slash no such thing as a bad movie. If you're on the $5 level and up, you get a bonus episode every two weeks, except uh, next week, we're going to have a supersized episode for all you $5 Patreon subscribers. It's going to be a full length, feature length commentary track for Disney's The Wild. The movie that Colin worked on, and you're going to get tons of behind-the-scenes info that is maybe not available anywhere else. Who knows? Because uh, what was this forgotten <laughs> Did you movie? do animation on the movie, Colin? I was a uh, lighting lead. So I was in the okay. lighting department. That's right, uh, which is a very And he does job. a voice of a character. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So we got all the deets, and you're definitely going to want to check that out. And if you want to find me, I am uh, on Twitter and Instagram at April at Mansky. You can follow me on Twitter, DeClue J, D-C-L-O-U-X, the letter J. And you can follow me on Letterboxd, just Justin DeClue, same spelling. And I'm Chevy Chase. You can follow me on Twitter, <laughs> Sergeant Zima, S-G-T-Z-I-M-A. And that's it for Karate my Dog. Friend, my friend is dead. My friend's dying. Oh. <laughs> Have a good day, everyone. Ruff, ruff. I'm April, I'm, <laughs> I'm April Advanced You got to work on those sign-offs. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm Justin DeClue. Woof. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. I'm, I'm Colin Cunningham. My friend is dying. <laughs> yeah. He's dead. And remember, there's no such thing as a bad movie. That drug is going to uh. kill children. <laughs> that sounds good. Chevy J. Oh, my God. I love your talk show. 